हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ एव यू ऑल बीन यू आर वेलकमिंग यू ऑल टू माई चैनल एंड न्यू ब्लॉग टूडे वी आर ऑल सेट फॉर अ रोड जर्नी एंड एज यू कैन सी द अमेजिंग वेदर द ब्लू स्काई विद वाइट क्लाउड्स एंड द ग्रीनरी मानसून इज यर बट टूडे इट वॉज अ वेरी सनी डे सो वी प्लान फॉर अ रोड ट्रिप एंड टूडेज रोड ट्रिप इज स्पेशल बिकॉज वी आर गोन टू बी कवरिंग द टू लॉन्गेस्ट ब्रिजेस ऑफ गोवा one is the juari bridge and the other one will be the atal setu so stay tuned and be with me to enjoy the journey with the greeneries all around and the lovely sky isn't it beautiful what do you think it was amazingly beautiful actually and we enjoyed like anything so stay tuned and enjoy the journey with us you all are already very familiar with this particular road because i have shared this road many a times in my other blogs also mainly in the road journeys because this is the road that takes us from our house to any of the places that we go but today i wanted to share this greenery and that's why i'm capturing this with the blue sky this just complements it will be awaiting for your comments how you feel the blue sky and the white clouds with the greeneries look like and what do you feel about them and they just gorgeous god's own creation yes exactly it's so beautiful and so amazing nothing can be compared to this the greenery goa is just next to paradise Goa is in fact paradise. And yes, I live in paradise, but this is uncomparable with anything. Just look at that amazing sky. Anyone who has a gloomy day or a bad mood will be just perfectly fine with this view. And now we are approaching the Juari Bridge So let me just tell you something about the Juari Bridge The Juari Bridge is in between the North and the South Goa It carries National Highway 66 over the tidal part of the Juari River between the villages of Agasim and Kotalim It's few meters downstream of the Konkan Railway Bridge It crosses the Juari River and is located in Tiswadi Goa Length is one thousand two hundred and twenty-five meters long, and which is approximately four thousand nineteen feet. It's constructed by the Dilip Built Con, and is was partially opened in two thousand and twenty-two. It carries eight length, that is four plus four. Just look at this beauty! How gorgeous it is! Hope you all love it. It has dual carriage. which is of 27 meters each and has a center of 10.7 meters it is the second large longest and widest cable stay bridge in india behind bandra worli sea link it's used as a expressway between panjim and madgaon the bridge over juari river is 640 meters long and the approach road from this bridge covers over 13 kilometers starting near bambolim crossing in north goa and near birla cross in south goa it has two towers which is 110 meters height from water level which is built on this bridge which i have already shared with you all so just let me know how you feel and how you liked the bridge This is one of the most gorgeous bridges in Goa after the Atal Setu. If you like my vlog and if you love the video then please do like, comment and share. If you want to get more of these kind of videos then please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that the first notification goes to you and you don't miss any of the videos. Here we are still on this Juari bridge. So don't think it is a very small bridge. It it is quite a big one. We are almost reaching Bambolim and you will get to see one of the most beautiful places, the universities and a few beautiful buildings 
in Bambolim. The Shah Prashad Mukherjee Indoor Stadium is also located in Bambolim, which has been owned and operated by the Sports Authority of Goa. It has a capacity of 4,000 people and has a maple flooring. It was opened in 2014 and was built with Rs. 82 crores. Shama Prashant Mukherjee, as we all know, was the former Indian politician and founder of the Bharatiya Janasangha. This is one of the most beautiful places that I have seen till date with beautiful churches all around. Just look at the one which is coming in front of you. Isn't it so gorgeous? It is. And today is a really gorgeous day. Look at the beauty in front, the hills. The green hills with the blue sky and the white clouds which just complements it. Goa roads are amazing. You cannot compare anything with this and it is so well maintained by the Goa state. Very soon we are going to be reaching the Atal Setu and before we reach, let me start telling you about it. Construction of this Atal Setu started in December 2018 and it ended on 5th of February 2019. But it was inaugurated on 27th of January 2019. It is one of the most heavily used bridge in Goa. Almost 66,000 vehicles travel over this bridge each and every day. Now we are all set to reach the Atal Setu. So stay tuned and enjoy the journey. We are almost approaching the Atal Setu. Atal Setu is a cable state bridge in Goa that runs between Panjim and Porvorim. It carries National Highway 66 over the tidal part of the Mandovi River. It's 5.1 kilometers long, making the third longest cable bridge in India. Two wheelers and three wheelers, as well as bullock carts, are prohibited from using this Atal Setu due to its height of 30 meters, that is 98 feet. It's officially opened on 5th of February 2019, as I already told. It carries four lanes just like the Juari River and it crosses the Mandovi River. And this Atal Setu is also called as the third Mandovi Bridge. It was constructed by Larsen and Tubro. Materials used for this bridge was steel and concrete. Total length of this bridge is 3,190 meters, which is 10,470 feet. Width of this bridge is 21 meters, that is 69 feet, and height is 30 meters, which is 98 feet. You can see how beautiful the Mandovi River looks from this bridge. And on the left hand side is Panjin. Mandovi River is one of the most happening rivers with all casinos in it. Many a times complaint has come with the environmental issues because 247 mangrove trees were destroyed to build this particular bridge. But from the forest department, it has already been replaced in different suitable sites. So the destruction even if done for this particular Atal Setu or the Mando third Mandovi bridge, it has not impacted because you can see how much greenery there is in spite of the construction and the 247 mangrove trees that has been destroyed have already been replaced in particular places look at those beautiful lamps street lamps aren't they so gorgeous and they are so beautiful in the evening when they are lit we are almost over with the bridge the Atal Setu and now we have reached Porvorim. 
Porvorim is again one of the happening places. Panjim itself is a very happening and Porvorim has the biggest mall in Goa that is Mall di Goa which will be coming very soon in front of you in the screen on your right hand side and on the left hand side are all the popular restaurants. In Panjim or Porvorim here you will get the most restaurants which are AC. Here is the Mall di Goa the biggest mall of Goa and here on the left hand side you can see all the restaurants here the restaurants are all AC many popular hotels are also located here hotels are all over Goa because it's a tourist destination and mostly near the beaches it was a long day and now I take a goodbye till we meet again stay tuned enjoy the journey and be with us for new vlogs just like this one till then take care bye bye don't forget to share the video